Good evening and welcome to this week's edition of the Pete Mazzetti Show. I'm your host, Pete Mazzetti. My guest this evening is Chef Paul from the Clinton Country Club. Chef Paul, welcome. Hello. How are you, my friend? Very good, thank you. Good Very to good. see you. Yeah, you it's too, been you a too. while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've been, uh, you know, trapped up a little bit. But I know, yeah. yeah, yeah. You've been cooped out, yeah. up. I've yeah. been yeah. cooped yeah. up. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Then, oh, yeah. then, then it looks like the, what's going to happen is the new normal. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Paul. Well, I've been cooking for f over 40 years. Uh, I started off in an Italian restaurant, Anthony's in Guilford, and uh, oh sure, Absolutely. and uh, making pizzas and Italian dishes and stuff, and just worked my way up through there. Ran the place for eight years. I was there for seventeen. Okay. And, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy cow! And in between, I had a, uh, a deli out in North Haven for a year or so, and then nice. uh, and then I came on to the Clinton Country Club, and I've been there for twenty years now. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, how are things going at the club? Uh, they're going to starting to pick up a little bit. You know, okay. we're starting to get busy. You know, we're still at 50% capacity inside mm -hmm. the dining room. Um, right. Um, we were doing a little bit of outside dining. We're still doing the outside dining. What we're, sh we're seeing is that most of our diners want to stay outside, our members. They wanna, Absolutely. You know, they want to dine outside. And uh, we get a few people inside. Mm -hmm. um, but the majority of them are, are dining outside. It's Absolutely. Uh, yeah, just a way that, you know, <laughs> the, way the way of the times. Yeah, they were just, uh, you know. Exactly. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah. So tell tell us about tell us about the Clinton Country Club. Um, it's a it's a private club. Yeah. Um, you, your dad and mom are members. Absolutely. So, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. so I know that really good. Um, it's a, it's a nice uh, you know smaller club. You it know, is. it's uh, you know our membership is full. You know, we have uh, social memberships and we have uh, yep. you know golf memberships. Um, social members they could come in and use the use the clubhouse for. Uh, um, dining and yeah. parties. Well, right now we're kind of not doing the big parties no, or no, nothing no, like no, that. No. But nope. um, not yet. but yeah, it's a nice club. Um, it's a you know it's a, the the town of Clinton. You know, they're they're, they're there. You know, <laughs> they're, they're, absolutely, they're, yeah, the, absolutely. The um, you know the, most of the members are from Clinton, but there's mm -hmm. also members from Brantford, uh, Guilford. You know, all the shoreline, Westbrook, yeah. uh, Old Lyme, all the way up and down. So nice. You know, it's a, a spread out. Absolutely, membership uh, absolutely yeah. Oh, yeah, now yeah. as far as when the club closed before the pandemic mm -hmm. what did it what did it look like and as far as when the club reopened what is what is what, what's it look like now well right now it's uh, we're doing like 50 percent capacity when okay. we first opened up you know we, well we we didn't do the takeout thing because like i said our our, our membership is a little bit more spread out than yep. you know so, and, and our, our membership is a little bit on the older side right yes. now. So, yep. uh, you know, we're trying to take it, you know, slow and, you know, you know, make sure that, you know, everybody's healthy and everything. Mm -hmm. and, um, Absolutely. So we, uh, so we, we, we started, you know, started off with uh, outside dining. Yeah. Um, well, actually we had, we have a place called Shanks. It's our little halfway house out on the, on the 11th. Uh, yep. Absolutely. <laughs> there. So we, uh, I went out there, I was doing hot dogs and hamburgers and I started doing a little lobster rolls and a couple of different things out there just to get started. And then after, um, after that, went in and we went onto the deck at the clubhouse and we started doing some outside seating when we were able to do that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and we had about eight tables out there, which, uh, you know, the members were really happy about, you know, we were able to do that. And uh, myself and Octavio is my sous chef, who's been with me for the whole 20 years. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, the two of us have been there. So, uh, you know, the two of us were working at first. We didn't really have anybody else, you know, coming in because, you know, you know, right. it was still doing all the social distancing exactly. and all that stuff. So, you know, we, 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 we were doing good. We were doing good. And then we, we're back to the next phase where we... Uh, you know, they're 50 percent capacity. So we're, you know, in the dining room. Not too many people go in there, but, uh, nope. you know, a few, but more more outside dining still. Exactly. Um, and uh, we've got some guys back in the kitchen now with us. And uh, okay. yeah, yeah, we just uh, practice, uh, you know, the sanitizing. We, you know, everybody's temperature is taken every day when they come in and yep. uh, make sure there's nothing wrong with them. And, you know, we you know, we do the sanitation every hour, wipe mm -hmm. the counters down, all that stuff. And uh, you know, wear the masks and all that. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys stay six feet apart from each other. Well, in a kitchen, it's sort of well, tough. Well, it's, it's, you know, it's, tough. it's tough. It's, it, it's, um, we have like three guys behind the line, myself, uh, my sous chef and um, another guy, you know, and, 
and so we're pretty we're pretty much six feet apart you know okay. I mean, we, we cross paths a little bit here and there but you know we try not to right um you know it gets hot back there so oh yeah, <laughs> yeah oh yeah, yeah, we, gotta, oh, yeah we just take some extra breaks and uh you know it's a uh, yeah it, you know <laughs> Yep. I, I was gonna say I've, I've been back there with you more than. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've come back and uh, you come out and visit me. Yeah, I've come back there I've and uh, down yeah, it's uh, it's it's you know, exactly. it's going, it's starting, you know. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, I don't know and the next phase as far as you know. Yeah, we're, I'm not we're sure. We're down on our parties, you know. We're not doing any big parties or any, nope. anything like that, you know. Um, our uh, we did we do a lot of uh, Monday outings, you know. They're um, yep. Most of those, we've had a couple that have moved on to uh, September and October. Hopefully, right. we could get those out there. Oh, absolutely. Um, because it's a good, uh, they're fundraisers, you know, so right. it's a good cause. So. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and, yeah, and I, I was going to say, you, got, you guys have a great country club, and you guys have a good pro shop. Good yeah, yeah. Pro, oh, yeah, good yeah, pro. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sean, yeah. Our Sean buddy. Busca, he's a yeah. great guy, great guy, yeah. Really good guy, yep. yep. Absolutely, uh, yeah. absolutely. I was yeah. going to say, I, I had Sean on with me not long ago, we actually did a, v a virtual version of the Pete Mazzetti show through Zoom. Yeah, yeah, back uh -huh, yep, yeah. A couple months ago. Uh-huh, yeah. Just yeah, he's I a great guy, great, great guy, yeah. Absolutely. He was actually doing some uh, some fundraising as far as some virtual lessons. Yeah, lessons that's right, that he, uh, that's right. You know, he did for the town of Clinton. You know, that's right, I saw families that. Families helping families, mm -hmm. and, you know, raised a few dollars for them. So absolutely. It was good, absolutely. we try and do some community things. and. Speaking oh, of good. community things and food, yes. From what I understand, you did how how to videos. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's doing, talk about how to well, videos. Well, what happened was uh, <laughs> when we, we 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 closed up. We were gonna do um, St. Patrick's Day. Yep. And that that yeah. Saturday, I think your mom and dad actually were one of our last customers. I was gonna say yeah, probably. Yeah. But we uh, we closed up that Saturday. That was it. We were all done, and so. The stuff that I could put into the freezer, I did that I had on hand, you know. Right. Um, and uh, so, so I started doing every Wednesday. Um, Chelsea in the office, she mm -hmm. would uh, come in, and we would uh, we would tape a, a cooking demo. You know, I did like a uh, I did a, a steak au poivre. I did a, a vodka sauce um, mm. with shrimp. I did a puttanesca sauce. Um, and we did some different, you know, you know different things that I had in house, you know, because mm -hmm. we weren't buying anything in. Right, so, you exactly. know, I pulled yeah, a couple yeah. steaks out, you know, I pulled some shrimp out of the freezer, Every, anything that I put you in there right hands. before we, uh, right. right before we closed up, I was able to utilize those. And, uh, you know, the membership loved it, you know, <laughs> yeah, and it, it was fun, something different. Yeah. Absolutely, because yep. it, it had it had to go, you had it on yeah, hand. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Had yep. it on yep. hand so, anyway, yeah. so. <laughs> and so uh, the grind, groundskeepers uh, and, uh, the guys downstairs, Sean, and a couple yep. of his guys, they all reap the benefits of I, I me heard. doing the demo. So <laughs> I <laughs> heard. got to sample them and, you know, taste them. So it was good. So you didn't make the shui I know. Why not? Ah, <laughs> that's true. You know, that's your dad's deal. <laughs> that's, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's, yeah, 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 yeah. that's the other guy. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. That's, yeah, the, that's, that's, the, that's, the, yeah, that's yeah. the other chef. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yep. <laughs> Yeah, we, we have a good time, your, me and my, your dad, you know, about the uh, Shui Dells. Oh, abso oh absolutely. He told me the process of making them, and I don't know if, uh, you know, we do some baking in-house. Yeah. You know, we do some cakes from scratch and stuff and cookies and stuff like that, but, you know, we don't get into Mostly. the big Italian desserts and stuff like that that, you know. No, no. Cause time consuming. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Now, let's, let's talk about menus at the Country Club. What can people expect to... See when well, what we do is, or is now, it, that, now that we're opened up, you know, semi opened up right now. Uh, yeah. We we kind of keep the menus down a little bit and mm -hmm. do a few more specials, so that way we can move the, you know, we could keep everything fresh. Yeah, yeah. And um, you know, we change the menu every couple of weeks. Uh, okay. Um, depending on what we have and what depends you know, on, right? Like uh, the steak and meats of, you know, the the steaks have been really really high. The price skyrocketed oh, yeah. because of the, the beef you know, the COVID. Or, yeah. You know, the all the. Uh, the slaughterhouses were shutting down, mm -hmm. so uh, the price went way up. So, uh, Absolutely. you know, it's starting to come down a little bit now. So, you know, as things get reasonable, then I switch stuff around on the menu, keep everything fresh. Absolutely. Pretty soon we're going to be getting some nice fresh produce in. So, uh, oh, there you go. So, I already got my, my fish guy uh, that I get all my fish from. He has a farm in North Haven. Okay. And uh, he's been doing uh, some nice native strawberries that I've been bringing in and, Ooh. you know, doing some things with that. Uh, some desserts and so little by little we'll start getting the tomatoes and the corn and stuff oh, like absolutely, that. Oh, so, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I was there mm -hmm. 
last week for dinner mm -hmm. with my family. Yep. I had the pork chop. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, the fourteen Chef. ounce, uh, the 14, 14 ounce uh, oh. with the bourbon sauce. Oh. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, oh, yeah. My dad looks at yeah. me like, yeah. "You're not going to eat that whole thing, are you?" I'm like, <laughs> "I don't know if my, I'm like, I don't know if my eyes are as big as my stomach." I'm like, "But we're going to try." <laughs> sure enough. You I did it, huh? You ate it all, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's it's similar like, to our uh, steak au poids, yeah. you know, with the cracked black pepper. Yep. And, you know, we just, uh, the, it's a bourbon sauce instead of a brandy sauce. So, right. yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's a, oh, that's a favorite of, uh, it was phenomenal. of our members, it was like, too. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. We've been, uh, you know, Thursdays is, um, is men's yep. day or Still. night, or, you know, so uh, they like pasta. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Was, so this week I ran spaghetti and meatballs, Ooh, uh, wow. you know, at the club, you know, they, they love it, you know, they, oh, absolutely. they eat it right up, especially the guys, you know, they want something that'll fill them up and, uh, absolutely. you know, so we do a lot of pastas on Thursday nights and, uh, you know, different things. Yeah. So what do you like to cook? Uh, my favorite thing to cook is Italian, Yeah. you know, started off in Italian restaurants. So, okay. you know, so, uh. My uh, pizzas, I like you know, okay. making pizzas. Um, we have uh, Frank uh, Frank's Mobile Kitchen. That, oh, uh, absolutely. That uh, he was coming out a couple of times a year, and we'd you know, I'd make the pizzas. He'd bring the oven and stuff, yep. and uh, and the dough. He's got a great recipe for the dough, and uh, I'd supply all the other ingredients. So he just you know, he watched the pizzas. I'd put them in there, and he'd watch them, turn them around, and everything. So exactly. That was nice, but I don't know if uh, that's going to happen this yeah, year with the I don't know. with the tournaments. You know, the um, you know, we're, we're doing, we're starting to do a few tournaments, but they're limiting the food, you know, because right. we can't do buffets and we can't, you know, have people right. walk up. So no, it's more of serving. No, you can't walk serving. up, serve yeah, yourself yeah. because if so somebody we're, touches it. And, yeah, exactly. So we're, yeah. we're yeah, they can't touch the, retouch the utensils and stuff like that. So we're coming up with some different ideas of how, how to, you know, feed the, the tournaments, feed, you know, yeah, as, you know, feed as, the crabs. you know, so, you know. Maybe it's a box lunch or you exactly. know, how, how it's going to be. We're not really sure yet, but I guess uh, the next phase will tell us what, what we can and can't do as far exactly, as that goes. Exactly, right. Yeah. And we don't, we don't know when the next phase is going to come out, hopefully, sooner, yeah, yeah, yeah. sooner, uh, than, sooner than later. Yeah, so yeah, hope. yep, yeah, yep, hell yeah. Yep. You'd, you'd hope. Yep, yeah, yeah. Now, how hard is it to make like a basic sauce? Oh, the basic sauce is not a problem. No. I, well, our tomato sauce, we um, I like to use whole tomatoes, yep. you know, instead of the crushed tomatoes mm -hmm. because you kind of know that, you know, they're not damaged or nothing, you know. Right. So, um, yeah, it's just uh, garlic, uh, uh, onions, fresh basil, yep. and, and uh, you know, Some olive tomatoes. oil, Some you know, tomatoes. started off. And we, we, make, uh, we make quite a bit of sauce, you know. Yeah, and, all right. You know, but we do it also from scratch. You know, oh, abso uh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, it's nice and fresh. And, uh, absolutely. You know, then that applies in different, you know, Mm -hmm. uh, dinners that we do, you know, whether it's the vodka sauce or the tomato sauce, or um, we have a nice uh, a, a veal right now that we have on Ooh. there that we use the tomato and a little bit of uh, veal stock in, and it's uh, oh. uh, <laughs> and uh, we melt some cheese on it. You know, we put we put shrimp and uh, scallop saute them, yep. put it on the veal cutlet, and then we the sauce is with uh, tomato and and the veal stock, and um, we put that on top of the veal. Put the cheese, some provolone cheese on there, melt it melt in the it oven for off. a little bit, and it's uh, yeah, it's a it's another favorite of the of the members. So yeah, it's been going really good. Chef, <laughs> you got me drooling over here. <laughs> yeah. You got me drooling over yeah. here, Chef. What'd you do to me? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, so. I was gonna say so. So what what can people expect to see when they come to the club? As far as as, as far as as. As far as the dinner goes, yeah. As far as dinner yeah, goes, yeah. Well, you know, you know, they make reservations or they don't. Right. Um, yeah. They, okay. You have to be a member to come into the club, like yes. I said, you know, or a social member or, or a golf member. Mm -hmm. um, they come in, and um, you know, we have specials. Yeah. We have our regular menu that you know, and then also we have burgers and salads and oh, yeah. uh, some sandwiches on there. Um, we have a lunch menu. We have a dinner menu. Um, and then uh, some desserts and uh, oh yeah, you know, so, yeah. let's talk about dessert. <laughs> yeah. what, do we, what do we normally have? Uh, well, usually I have like a, a chocolate cake. Yeah, I, I, you know I have a chocolate cake that I uh, that we made this week. I mm -hmm. put some. Uh, I did a chocolate mousse. Um, um, and then we did a uh, like I said we had the strawberries. We had a native mm -hmm. strawberries. So right. I did uh, I did a strawberry shortcake, and um, so that went over pretty good. You know this native strawberries. <laughs> Um, 
I and miss I strawberry shortcake. <laughs> I missed oh, it. Oh, it's good. It's good. All yeah. right. Yep. Yep. And uh, yeah, so we we, we limited to a couple of you know so that we yeah, could keep so them you have a fresh. You know, of... and, you know, we're, we're you know right now we're in that you know that you know we don't really know how busy it's going to be yet. So right. you know we don't want to bring in a whole bunch of product. No, just, because if you bring you know, in a whole yeah. bunch of product, then it doesn't go. Exactly. You're gonna, yeah. You're going to yeah. sit yeah. on. It, yeah. So, which is not uh, going to be. Yeah. So you know we're doing that and. Trying to keep things fresh. Exactly. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Keep a couple of fish on the menu. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, salmon is always popular and it's oh, healthy. Yeah. So, you know, we put the salmon on there. We had a nice halibut on there this week. I have a fish guy that, that he's in uh, North Haven, number one oh, okay. fish, and he, uh, he, it's good because he calls me in the morning, and he brings it in the afternoon. Oh, so it's go. always nice and fresh. You know, there it's you not go. you know sitting around or nothing. It tells me what he has. He fillets it then, and he brings it up. So there you go. Keep it nice and fresh. Go. And I'm sure you guys use a lot of local ingredients. Local oh yeah, 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 local, as much as we could. Yeah. Local corn. Oh yeah, yeah. Local corn, like local tomatoes. Oh yeah. Um, green beans, whatever you know, whatever whatever is available. You know, we we try and get local instead of uh, right. you know from California or you know <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Texas mm -hmm. or Florida. Or, yeah. And you yeah. guys have a heck of a restaurant team over there. Oh yeah, you yeah. You got Carl. I, you got Steve. Yeah, we got Carl. We got Steve. Like I said, I got Octavio. He's yep. the sous chef. He's been with me for 20 years. Oh wow. Um, I have another uh, guy, Oscar, that's been with me for 15, 15, 16 years now. Um, Moose, you know, uh, Mike. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's Moose. been with me for about 12 years now. So yeah, yeah. I get them, and they usually stay with me. You know. Exactly. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have exactly. some fun in the kitchen. And, oh, uh, when Absolutely. it's time to work, you know, we get to work. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Absolutely, yep. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sh I'm sure I'm sure that you guys are going to be, be glad once things get back to somewhat of a normal so you guys can start seeing your members again. Yeah, and, yeah. Well, I, I you know, it was nice when we were cooking out uh, on the deck there. I was able to, you know, see a lot of the members, you know, coming by, you know, with their golf carts, you know, right. and, and stuff like that. And then when I was uh, when we were shut down, when we first opened back up just for the golf I was actually working down in the pro shop with Sean for oh, okay. about a sure. month, so I was able to, you know, see, you know, with the mask on and everything, you know, and visit, you know, some of the people out there, you know, the the members. So we have some good members. We have some really oh, good absolutely. members. Oh, absolutely. You know, have uh, you know, over the years, you know, met more and more of them. You know, we have uh, all of our town guys too. Mm -hmm. You know, the chief de Mayo, he he comes in as much as he could. He's yep. been busy the past couple of months. Oh but, yeah. You know, so uh, you know, all the towns people and. Uh, Oh, yeah. You know, it's it's nice to know everybody. It's a nice small town. You oh, know, it's so a great town. Yeah, everybody knows everybody, so it's you know, it's nice. Yeah. It is. It's a yeah. very small knit community. Yeah, exactly. Especially yeah, with yeah. what's going on in the oh, world. Oh yeah, right yeah, exactly. Yeah, especially yep, with, yep, what, especially yep. with what's going yeah, on in the yeah, world oh, right yeah. now. Yeah. Yep. Stay small, stay local. Uh -huh, yeah, stay yeah. Small, oh yeah. Stay yeah. local. <laughs> absolutely. Yep, yep, absolutely. Yeah. So what else? As far as inspirational chefs that you look up to in your career who would they be um i don't really have any favorites no um, no i don't really, really? you know they uh, you know i, I jack papin papin has been in the club oh a couple of times really yeah yeah he actually uh he did a book signing um we have this uh, book club that comes uh, once a year oh, okay and he came to it uh, uh one year so yeah nice. uh, yeah he yeah he's you know he, local he's guy. one that I, yeah, a local guy local that guy. you know that Absolutely. I like to look at his recipes and stuff like that. You oh. know? And uh, you know, a lot of the the chefs that, that I've worked under, you know, over the years, you know, they give me inspiration and you know, and uh, some ideas and stuff. And then I take and, those yeah, ideas go, and add a little bit of this and, and that, and you know, play a little, go play from a little there. Bit yeah, with yeah, it yeah, yeah. So yeah, doctor. Hmm, okay, yeah. Put, about, put about my own little touch on it. So, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. And from what I hear, mm -hmm. the word is flan. Flan. Oh yeah. That's talk, Octavio. Talk my to me about chef, flan. Uh, my sous chef. He uh, he comes from Mexico. So oh, okay. uh, yeah. So he's the he's the expert on flan and. Uh -huh. uh, and it's good because it's a gluten-free uh, dessert, which mm -hmm. um, um, we know you, a gluten-free you know person. About that, yeah, yeah. Your mom, oh, yeah. yeah, she's a uh, she's a big fan of it. So, oh, yeah. Uh, so he, yeah, he, she had he actually, it. Yeah, he, the other night when she was there. Yeah, yep. Because she yeah. brought it home. She yeah. didn't eat the whole thing. Oh, uh -huh, really? Yeah. I look at her. Yeah, I'm we like, gave her a nice slice. Yeah. I look at her. I'm like, what's that? She's like, you don't have to worry stay about. Stay away, it. right? She's yeah. like, stay away. I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Octavia does a good job with it, and you know. 
that's a that's a good thing you know about the club you know we we kind of know our membership right. you know we know you know certain ones they have gluten right. allergies what they and like what certain they don't ones like. have peanut allergies and and when the tickets come in i i tend to know which members yep you know have those allergies exactly. which helps a lot so you know we kind of uh accommodate them you know exactly your, your mom is uh, gluten you know yep. so she gluten free you know Absolutely. so we uh, we got the different pastas and stuff yep. like that gluten free they've come a long way in the pastas they, too they actually know? have they, yeah, yeah. <laughs> before they, that at first when they first started coming out with them it was just a corn based in you know you boil it a little bit and it falls apart yeah it but they've it come a long way in it now you know they there's a whole line of gluten free you know oh, items abso that, you know, absolutely we got the rolls and everything so yeah Absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I know. I know. Usually, about once a month, my dad goes out with all of his friends from high school. So her and I have usually when we find out that he's going out, she'll make gluten-free pancakes. Oh yeah. So, so she was she was <laughs> she was playing with gluten-free pancake recipes a couple of weeks ago. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. She tried the King Arthur and then one of the other brands. Sure. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, yeah. The ones with rice flour. And, you yeah. Know, see, you just, see, just see, gotta kind of play around with them. See and, which know, one she find, likes better. You know, it's what, what, okay. what you would like. Yeah. With exactly. Same thing, you know, because I'm club, sure you know, we have you know the the different breads. You know the you know when like, same thing with the as the pasta. You know yeah. when we first came out with them, it was yeah the the breads were dry and uh, you know and and they've been getting a lot better. So, oh yeah. yeah. Oh ever. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. Was, Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. That's. Yeah, think, things things have changed. Oh yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> things. Yeah, they sure have. Things yeah, have yep. certainly changed, yep. and I'm sure we're going to see some more changes. Yeah, I don't know this year. You know how how far we're going to go. You know, with the, as far as the parties go and stuff like that. You know, we do a lot, a lot of yeah. banquets, school you banquets. Do. That's we do right. a ton of school banquets. We do most of uh, HK. We do well, of course, Clinton. Mm -hmm. We do HK. We do a lot of Madison too. Yeah. Um, a little bit of Westbrook. I think they might come to uh, Water's Edge or, you know, I'm yeah. not sure. Yeah. But um, we do a lot of the banquets, which I hope we get back to normal where we could do those again. Oh, absolutely. And the same thing with the Christmas parties. You know, we do the fire department. Yep. Um, we do, um, you know, a bunch of different things for, uh, you know, the different fire departments, not only uh, Clinton, Clinton, but we do, uh, we do Killingworth and we do sure. Essex. We do, we, do, we do quite a few of them. So. I know, yeah. And it's yeah hopefully we can uh, get some of that back. Hopefully by the end of the year, exactly. We'll see what happens with that. So. Yeah, because we you, you don't know because especially with once the school year rolls around, God know, you know we don't know what school's going to look like. Exactly. Yeah. 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 We, yeah, don't. we don't know what what you know if they're going to be going every day or you know. I know and, if they're going every yeah, day so, or they're yeah. going to be and doing their, social their sports, distancing. The, the banquets and, that we do are, are you know the sports banquets. Right. So you know if they're not playing paying this playing the sports you're not having a banquet not having a banquet no so, yeah. definitely no yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. not <laughs> yeah cuz i actually help out with lacrosse for morgan at the high school level yeah and yeah. we didn't have a lacrosse season this year yeah, we yeah. had no yeah. lacrosse season Nothing, at all yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think they have much of anything right now. No. The only thing that's going now is golf. I don't even that's think the okay. golf team is. Uh, the golf team is, is, is. I'm not sure if they've been out yet or no, not. No, I'm, I'm not really sure. I don't know. But, but they come to the club too. The Absolutely. Golf. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But um, Absolutely. that's the only real sport. That, the the only sport right now that's that's going that you're able to do. You know exactly. And yeah. as, as far as golf goes at the club, can you? Walk 18? Can you drive 18? Well, when Can you we bring first, carts on 18? When we first started, it was just walking. Okay. You know, walking only right. when they, we first opened back up. And then um, then uh, we, we got to the phase where we can let them go out in a golf cart, but it was one person to one golf cart. Yeah, one we person per cart. And then we if you're a spouse or a family member that lives together, mm -hmm. then you can um, ride with that you person. Can ride with them. Um, and then now it's it's pretty much uh, you know they can they can go out you know husband you right. don't really see too many you know you know if a couple of guys are going out they're right. taking separate cards so absolutely it's not, you know, yeah it's more for the uh, the, hand, the not handicapped but the the ones that can't walk yep we we kind of stress that you know that you know if you, if you can walk it walk it absolutely you know, but. Uh, because the course is really dry too. Oh, so oh, like yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I, I went by it, went by it this morning on my way to work, and yeah. the sprinklers were on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We take all our, our water from the ponds. In the <laughs> I was back, say, so, yeah, and they were the getting pretty low. So sprinklers were on. Yeah, yeah, it yep, rained. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it hasn't, hasn't rained. Hasn't rained in a while. Yeah, not too much. Yeah. No, yep, definitely. Yeah. 
definitely. Yeah, we not. actually had the first rain was Saturday in a while. Yeah. As, as I was telling you before that, uh, you know, it was the first time I drove into the parking lot and there was only two cars in there because we've been pretty packed. Yeah, definitely. We've had a lot of cars in the parking lot, so. I know, it's yep. going to be. Yeah. It's going to be very interesting once once you guys we go on to the next phase and see. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. see yeah, exactly I, I what's think uh, um, uh, Governor Lamont just went on today and he's kind of weighing his options as far as open up the bars. You know, sitting right. at the bar. Yeah. Um, they might push that back a little bit because of uh, the stuff that's going on down south in, oh, yeah. in Texas and. Florida and all that so you know just taking it cautious but uh, we took all our bar, bar stools out of the bars so they can't sit down at the bar and, yeah because uh, you'd much rather be safe than sorry exactly you don't yeah. want somebody yep. to oh yeah in yeah 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 we've been then... that's one thing about our you know the club president you know he's really you know concerned about his members you know the members of the club so, who's club president um that's Vinny Gambardella okay yeah yeah okay I don't, great guy nice I don't guy think I yeah. know Vinny no yeah he's a good guy really so. good guy yeah yeah oh yeah yeah, so wow. yeah, we're just uh, yeah, just plugging along. You guys are a very busy club. Yeah, we are. Yeah, 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 we are. Yeah, 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 very busy. Yeah, yep, yep. And yeah. the uh, believe it or not, the membership has gone up since this virus. You know, well, we've that's a we've good gotten thing. a few extra members. You know, we're uh, you know from different places, uh, which is good. It's a good it's, thing. It's, it's, an, it's, an, it's an absolutely <laughs> oh, yeah, good thing. Yep, yep. Well, hopefully, we'll see you again soon, Chef. Oh yeah, yeah, right. for sure. Yeah, yep, you got yep. it. Thanks for coming down, Chef. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yep. On behalf of Chef Paul, I'm Pete Mazzetti. Thanks, good night, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>